you. Thank you. Uh, Tad says, I've been hearing a lot about vitamin D deficiencies and related illnesses and disease. Is it possible to get enough from the sun? And is supplementation necessary in the northern regions or places where there's less sun? And if so, what is the best form of supplementation? Well, number one, vitamin D deficiency came because of the con artists in the healthcare professions, including the natural healthcare professions, that 30 years ago all at once said, hey, you know, we're going to come up with a new uh, philosophy. And the new philosophy is the sun's really not your friend and it causes disease and never go to the sun. So now lock, stock, and barrel, they frighten the public as they do well all the time and people stop going into the sun. Now, I will grant you, every one of us that look in the mirror at our wrinkles, it's the sun that pretty much caused most of those wrinkles. But what you do need is the sun. Nature didn't put us in the sun and under the sun for the entirety of humanity until very, very recently when now we're in offices and we're inside of our house and we're not outside as farmers and before that as nomads. That's part of our process of developing vitamin D. Now I'll answer the question about where to get it and then I'll go back and tell you there's no better source than the sun itself. We produce the best, and I say this with, with great pride, the best vitamin D supplement on the market. Why? Because it's a whole food living vitamin D that we've extracted from shiitake mushroom. Now that sounds almost counterintuitive that from a mushroom that's not grown in the sun, you get it. But remember, UV rays are also captured by soil and naturally, organically, this, the shiitake mushroom picks that already fractionated and full spectrum vitamin D up and contains it in it. We then extract it without heating the shiitake mushroom. Voila, we produce the product called Life Give Sun-D. But is that good enough? And the answer is no. Although I told you about 38 seconds ago it's the best one on the market, I'm also going to tell you we will never replicate what the skin does, the pigmentation, to convert over into fractionated, usable, and necessary forms of vitamin D. What, what the sun does is the only, only way that that's going to happen. Now, if I were in the north and if it were from uh, October until about April, I would be taking sun D, but I'd also be telling you to get out in the sun. You say there is no sun. No, it's just there's little sun. You say it's cloudy. Yes, but big deal. Refraction, when the uh, sunlight UV rays go through the water particles in the clouding, it actually breaks down into a refraction and makes it actually more user-friendly for the, the human skin, the pigmentation, to pick it up and convert it over to usable forms of vitamin D. So don't think you're not getting it. But here's my caution. Always go out early in the morning before 9 or 2 hours before sunset. If you live in the far, far north and are listening to this, in Lapland or northern Canada, that may be 1 o'clock in the afternoon, by the way, for some of you. You basically go out then and you have natural fiber clothes on. Please do not wear man-made fibers ever, no less when you're trying to get sunlight, because they block these petrochemical-rich so-called clothing, block the UV rays. And by the way, when the UV rays come down, it heats up that clothing and creates a great propensity for cancer. So you want natural fiber, organic clothes if possible, organic underwear, you get out there. And we're going to make one exception. Even in the middle of the day, you can go out as long as you're under a nice leafy tree or under somewhat of an indirect sunlight, and you can be out for 15 minutes too. That's how you get sun. Don't listen to this whole idea you're going to get sick from the sun. You're going to get sick if you don't have the sun. 